welcome back to my channel. I know it has been such a long time since I've done a video like this with absolutely no makeup on, um, but we are going to be doing something different. I know I normally do like full glam hair on YouTube, but a lot of you guys have been requesting, have been requesting a look that is for your everyday girl who is working their nine to five and wants a quick glam for work, but doesn't want to put in like an hour in the morning. So the first thing that we're going to do is moisturize and I'm going to be using my Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This is their stick moisturizer. I love using this in the morning because it is a stick and it's super easy to just kind of like swipe all over your face and get the moisturizer on really really quick. I'm also going to say this routine that I am showing you guys is my actual routine for work in the morning and this takes me like maybe five to ten minutes. I'm just gonna rub this in here with my fingers just really quickly nothing fancy here. Moving on, I'm going to put on primer. If you're not a person where you like to put on primer, that's totally fine, but I personally do, and it's just part of my routine. Um, so I'm going to be going into the Milk Makeup No Filter Poreless Base Primer. Again, if you are the type of person where primer isn't really something that you do, you can totally skip this step. Honestly, just watching this entire thing, if there's like a step that you're like, uh, no, I can totally do without, and cut it down to like another two minutes, that's totally fine. Fine. That's what this whole thing is really about. It's just about seeing what other people are doing and customizing it to your specific preference and your skin type. All right, for foundation, these are two that I absolutely love and I have been using all of the time. So this is the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. I'm in the shade F3.60. And then we have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation, and I'm in the shade Y455. I honestly need to go get another one because this one is pretty much done. So for today, I'm going to use my Morphe Fluidity Foundation. And what I do is I literally would just swipe this bad boy all over my face. I do put a little bit extra under my under eyes as um, something to act like more of a concealer. I do have dark circles as you can see. And just swiping it like this just, again, cuts down time and you don't have to be sitting here applying it nicely and then blending it out and anything like that. And the way that I'm going to blend this out is using a brush. This is the Jaclyn Hill in Morphe Collection. This is her JH03. And I literally will use like little like flicking emotions and just kind of like blend this out all over my face and once I get under my eye I'm like using like little tapping motions and blending this on my lid as well now once that is blended out one thing I love to do is take a smaller brush again this is the same Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection and I would actually take this brush and just make sure that all of the little small crevices are blended out because sometimes this is a little bit of a too much bigger brush to kind of get into these little crevices especially around your nose the powder that I'm going to be using is this one from Smashbox. This is their Halo Fresh Perfecting Powder. I am in the shade Medium Tan. So if you guys haven't seen what this powder looks like, this is what the packaging is. And then again, you just have to twist this and you get fresh powder here. So I actually will use my sponge. And I will first focus most of my product under my eye. Again, this is applying coverage to my under eye without using an excess amount of product and not using concealer again that's how kind of, that's kind of what I do to kind of skip that concealer step and again it cuts my my like gland down to like maybe like five minutes and what I will also do is switch over my sponge to this side because that side will kind of apply the powder on more real estate on my face you can totally see all of my marks and all of my dark circles are completely gone you can't see them so if you're the type of person who's watching this and you have dark circles and you have marks on your face and you need to cover them really quickly for work but don't have the time i'm telling you just follow those steps and you will be solid so if you want to apply like blush and highlight and contour and all of that kind of jazz you totally can but i honestly i don't apply any more face product than this it's it's literally just my foundation. What I do not skip on though is mascara and I am really excessive with mascara so if you guys don't want to do all of this you don't have to but I will first go into my milk makeup. This is their Kush Lash Primer. This is a white mascara and this I, I apply first before my mascara because it does the world of a difference. So the way that I apply my mascaras is I'll go in with this first. I like to back home all of my lashes first 
and then I will go in regularly with this as if it was like a regular black mascara. So let me zoom you guys in really quickly just so you guys can see what the difference already looks like with just the lash primer. So this is the before and this is the after. It literally makes a world of a difference. So now let me zoom you guys out because this is really close. <laughs> But now I'm just going to go into my regular mascara. I'm going to give you guys three of my top mascaras as of right now. So, of course, we have the Benefit Ga Bad Cow Bang Mascara. Great mascara. Then we have the Lancome Monsieur Big Incredible Mascara. This is like my holy, holy grail. And then we have this new um, O for HD Volumizing Mascara. I have recently tried this out and I have been obsessed. You can see how, pa how like dirty the packaging is because I have been using it non-stop. So I'm going to go into my Ofra mascara and I do the same thing. I like to back comb and I back comb again because I want all of that white to not show. And then again, just go in regularly with your mascara. Really quickly here, I'm going to apply this on my lower lashes as well. Now you can totally see the difference, but I'm going to take it one step further and I'm going to actually apply a liner in my waterline. Now if you guys are the type of people where you guys love to apply liner, black liner, or anything like that, I would say do not apply black. Black makes your eyes close off and make you look tired more than you actually are. And what you want to do is you want to apply something like this. This is a eye bright pencil from Benefit Cosmetics. It doesn't have to be this specific one. If you have like a skin tone um, waterline pencil, if you have something that's white, you can totally apply white in your waterline if you want. So I am just going to pop this on my inner corner. So again, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see the difference between mascara and liner to no mascara and liner. This literally opens up your entire eye and makes you look awake and makes you look like you put a ton of effort on your makeup when you didn't. All right, so if you guys want to apply some chapstick on your lips and be done with it, you can totally do so. I personally like a little bit of a color on my lips, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be applying this new Sigma Infinity Point Lipstick. This is in the shade Temptation. These are actually brand new from Sigma, and I have been obsessed with these. You can see the packaging is different, and it has a much sharper tip. So I literally just pop this on my lips, tap it in a little bit with my finger, And that's it. This is it. This is literally my fresh working girl type of glam without taking too much time in the morning. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any additional questions, let me know down below in the comments that I will, of course, be answering them. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Morning light, morning light.